I'm always happy when I see young people passionate about research, about technology. My oldest memory of what you could call, in a way, engineering is when I used to destroy and break my matchbox cars to uh, try to find out how it works. But then at some point you want to make things, make things which have an impact. When I started in renewables 20 years ago, the only question was, is this going to work huh? and isn't it too expensive? Now, with all the progress that was made, the question is, how fast can we go to zero carbon? Where you produce low-cost renewable energy, you can also produce low-cost hydrogen. In hydrogen is, I would say in very simple words, a way to transport and store renewable energy. What we need is large impact, which means large scale. Solar energy really needs four key ingredients. Huh? Uh, lots of sunshine, obviously, but also lots of land because it requires a lot of space. Good financing conditions and the workforce to make it all happen. And all of this, we find it here in Saudi Arabia. PIF is an extremely important partner for us in delivering 42,000 megawatts of electricity generation capacity and 6 million cubic meters of desalinated water every day in 13 different countries. Without PIF, this would not be possible. With these projects, we're delivering essentials of life, eh? bringing affordable, reliable and clean energy and water to countries and populations. Is really important and, and I do truly believe and I feel from all of the people working for Aquapower that making this difference is important for them. Technology is part of the solutions to the challenges we face. And, and that's why we need the people and the passionate people and the bright people to contribute to this. With such an ambitious agenda in terms of energy transition and renewable energy, that is to some extent really changing the world.